Hey, what's up guys, Dolly Dubbed here, and today I'm doing a video review on the Max Keyboard and brace yourself, Max Falcon 20 RGB Programmable Mini Macro Pad Mechanical Keyboard. Yes, as much as I can try and so fit that in, in all um, one phrase. So yes, this little mini keyboard uh, is relatively expensive. It can be found for $70 on Max Keyboard's website pre-assembled or as a DIY kit for $60. Now yes, the price might put off a few people, but this is more of a novelty item more than anything and people who are uh, into mechanical keyboards all have a random mechanical keyboard um, switch testers like myself. So anyway, this keyboard um, comes with a following. First of all, it comes with a full numpad. So when I say a full numpad, it means that not the keys that you can see over here, not all of them at least, it's got a full numpad with plus and minus buttons, page up and, and what have you. The keys themselves are actually well made with ABS plastic and I had no problems using them. I must say, Max Keyboard's keycaps themselves are actually fantastic. You can see potentially in the background, uh, my Logitech G710 Plus, and yes, it's a Lamborghini custom paid to G710 Plus with Max Keyboard's translucent keycap set. Fantastic keycaps and I must say I've been using them since I've received them. Link will be down in the description uh, below of my review of them. I really love them and I still till this day use them. So Max Keyboard do make lovely things and uh, as you probably saw over here this is uh, another of their mini um, um, key uh, switch testers. But when I tested this I was like this is not enough for me to uh, play Counter Strike because there's so many buttons missing. 20 keys however Yes, sir. Now, I'll show you a video in just a bit of me having a lot of fun playing with this mini keyboard on a competitive game of a Counter-Strike. And yes, it was manageable. No, unfortunately, we didn't win, but we had a lot of fun. And yes, I top fragged. Yes, I know that's the most important. No, it's not the most important. Anyway, I know it's not. Anyway, in this, uh, in the, uh, the keys that I've got over here, I've got um, uh, RGB, uh, a Cherry MX RGB Silence, uh, which um, I'll just try and show you over here so you guys can see. Now, these keys can be customized. If you go through Max Keyboard's website, uh, there's a variety of uh, keys you can choose from, including Gatron switches, which uh, some people actually love. Now in terms of uh, the uh, the performance of the little uh, keypad itself, as I said I was able to play a, a full game of a Counter-Strike, a competitive Counter-Strike uh, with this and I had no problems by doing so. In terms of the build quality of uh, the uh, the keyboard itself, it's really well built, it's got an aluminium frame, it's connected via a micro, US, a micro USB connection and yes the USB connection is included within the package and the rubber little bits which are underneath as well. Uh, underneath the keyboard you've got a few hardware buttons so to speak, so if I just change profile uh, you will be able to see I can uh, adjust the brightness uh, level of um, the, uh, the mini keyboard, I've got um, the uh, LED modes which uh, cycles through the different different LED modes that are available uh, on this um, on the keyboard and then I've got a, um, a, a, oh, a cycle mode which goes through the five different uh, pre-assigned cycles so this is my uh, profile 2 uh, which I've got um, and then if you just go through it it will go through them so um, it's a really nice little um, little um, hardware buttons and they actually come in very useful uh, in terms of what you're going to need it to do now, um, going to uh, the uh, right side of the keyboard, you've got an on and off switch, which uh, essentially does what it says on the tin, switches off uh, the keyboard. Now, a small little note in terms of software-wise, um, it comes with its own software, which you'll have to download and install, but I must say, when I, <clears throat> when I plugged the keyboard in, it picked it up straight away on Windows 10 and picked it up as the numpad, as in like the default numpad, uh, as it comes with the pre-assigned keys. Now, going up to the software, um, I must say I was very impressed with what Max Keyboard have done here with the software. It's very intuitive, a lovely little interface, and very easy to use. Now, as you can see over here, layer one is my Counter Strike profile with all the keys I would uh, want. But whatever you want to do, you can customize. Uh, just click on a key and click on key assignment, and here you've got all the keyboard keys including um, media function keys, you've also got right and left click buttons as well, which are not things you would expect on a keyboard. It's great to actually have them on there, and it's, it's a very, uh, very easy interface uh, to use. Just simply click on the button that you'd want. So for example, I've got G over here, I just click key assignment and press O, it changes it to O, I hit save, and then that's already O on the keyboard. So I'm going to go back to G, because that's what I use, hit save, saves it, instantly and there you go you're ready to go so you can do it on the fly if you so wish I forgot for example in Counter-Strike that I needed G and that I needed um, 
There was another key, I needed a five, and I just went into the software quickly, changed them, and then jumped back straight into my game. Now what I like about the five different layers is that they're all independent from each other. In other words, um, layer one has a different backlight setting, which is uh, RGB wave, from uh, layer two, which has a backlight uh, setting of LD, uh, LED fade in. It's a very small thing that they've added over here, but it's a really fundamental thing because a, a visual key of changing each layer is a really nice uh, feature to have. So now I'll go on to my Counter-Strike game that I had. I had a lot of fun playing this game. In this a certain clip uh, specifically, uh, a guy team kills another guy and then ends up uh, getting uh, getting uh, banned. And yes, I do say B looks clear, suddenly see an enemy and the guy team kills the other guy and I kill the other guy whilst doing it. And anyway, you can hear my terrible laugh. Um, but we had a lot of lot of fun playing that and as you can see I'm just using that little mini keyboard over here I didn't have to use anything else uh, whilst um, whilst uh, playing Counter-Strike It was really fun and I must say quite challenging but at the same time very rewarding because I didn't really need my keyboard The only time I needed my keyboard is if I wanted to uh, rage, uh, rage chat in there or keyboard bash Or if I wanted to enter Windows and I need my full set of uh, f full set of keys other than that, everything was uh, achievable via this mini keyboard. And like, for example, my um, L2 uh, profile, I've got macro settings and I've even got um, a macro settings to launch um, my uh, emails and browser. And then another uh, button to actually launch a program, which in this case is GeForce Experience. So there we go, guys. I must say this little keyboard, it might seem expensive at first, but if you put it to use properly, it can be extremely vital and fantastic to actually use as just a primary uh, keyboard. In, in that case, I mean primary keyboard as like um, a, a gaming mini keyboard uh, that you'd buy from like Razer or whatever, like the Orb Weaver. Um, this is basically it. It's fantastic. I love it and I'll definitely recommend it. So there we go guys, I've been totally done. Make sure you give it a like, comment, subscribe, um, and uh, in the comments below, let me know what you think of this little keyboard. If you got it yourself, it'll be great to know. All right guys, take care and bye-bye.